Taking a multivitamin is beneficial for the minds of older adults. Researchers looked at more than 3,500 people, all 60 years or older, for nearly three years. This study found that taking one multivitamin per day slowed memory loss that normally comes with aging. Joining us to talk about that and other health topics is Dr. Bill Hartman, principal investigator for the UW Health Pediatric Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial. Today, we're not talking COVID though. We are, let's start with the multivitamin because this of course is very interesting. My first question is, which vitamins inside the multivitamins do we think are the key to, you know, better brain activity as we age? Well, I think we're still trying to figure that out, but certainly the, the B complex vitamins are very important. Vitamin D, uh, these are uh, vitamins that help uh, with a lot of the enzymes in the body. Make sure that uh, you stay healthier, you stay younger, uh, and, and in this case, help your mind remember things as you get older. At the end of the day, none of us have perfect diets. And especially here in the United States, we know that our diets are far from perfect for the vast majority of us. That's where these multivitamins really come into play, right? Because we could be getting all of these nutritional benefits from the food we should be eating, but a lot of us aren't really getting everything we should be on a daily basis. That's right. And so, you know, this is a very simple way to, to improve a metric as we get older. We do have to caution that the, the difference, while it was significant, uh, it wasn't a huge difference uh, in terms of uh, reducing memory loss as people get older than 60. So it really, you should take a multivitamin, but also do the other things that we know uh, can help improve your, your mind's health uh, over time, including eating right, getting exercise, getting plenty of sleep and staying social. Well, speaking of eating right, there is this new study that just came out and it has to do with teen food insecurity. And really the focus here is on the long-term effects. What have we deduced from this study? So this came out of the National Cancer Institute and it looked at 1,500 adolescents. Uh, what they found was that the, the dietary patterns of adolescents are, are usually very complex and that oftentimes they will eat in response to emotions. Now, when there was food insecurity with uh, these, these emotions, you would see people eating even more and making uh, worse decisions when it came to, their, to the foods that they were eating. This obviously can have long-term effects with uh, obesity, uh, high cholesterol, uh, diabetes, all the things that would be associated with having a poor diet uh, especially in these formative ages. It's just interesting, yeah, they're making that correlation there. Really quickly, we have about 30 seconds left, so I wanna wrap this up quickly, but there is a new FDA-approved nasal spray that helps reverse the overdose effects of fentanyl and other opioids out there, kind of like Narcan. Right, so this is called OPV, and it, it's very similar to Narcan, except it lasts a lot longer. Uh, so the, the thing with fentanyl is that it, it can stay in your system longer than the Narcan can reverse it. So you have to give another dose. This you would only have to give one dose. The problem with it is that it would prolong withdrawal as well. So the, the bad side effects of nausea, of diarrhea, of muscle cramps, all of those could be prolonged for six hours or longer. That's interesting. All right, could be life-saving though. Another option out there. Dr. Bill Hartman, we always appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.